The Automotive Research Development Centre was established in 1996 after an extensive benchmarking study throughout Europe. It represents Canada's first of its kind industry and academia research partnership. It's dedicated to research, development and education. We have a unique program within the ARDC that includes a, a joint degree between Polytechnic de Torino in, in Italy as well as the University of Windsor where a student has the ability to study one year at, at their home country and the second year abroad to bring back some international experience. We have well over 300 co-op students and interns that have come through the ARDC. As a result of that, over half of the employees here at the Automotive Research and Development Centre are University of Windsor graduates. The ARDC plays a key role in the product launches for the Chrysler Group. Sitting behind me right now is what we call our uh, four-post uh, environmental chamber. It's a, what we call a tire coupled, which means the tires sit right on the pads and we simulate the road surface by moving the, uh, the pads up and down. Um, but it's also an environmental chamber, which allows us to do extreme temperatures uh, from minus 40 Celsius or Fahrenheit all the way up to 55 Celsius or 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, coupled with that, we can also add humidity to those conditions and we can also add solar loading as you can see from behind me here. Uh, this allows us to simulate sun loading, such would be you know, common in say the Arizona deserts, uh, other places like that. This is the research facility. What we do here is we um, test the beam patterns for the headlamps and the tail lamps. Um, both the signal and the forward lighting. And what we can do is um, help eliminate issues before we hit the plant and also if there's warranty issues that come up. We test the fog lamps as well. And uh, we take all the pictures and uh, we store them electronically so that all of the lighting group can access them and use them for comparison and also keep track of the vehicle as it progresses through the years. We're here in the powder booth. Uh, this powder booth is used to, to validate processes, materials, and equipment that uh, Chrysler uses in their uh, powder booths in their plants. Um, Chrysler is uh, a big user of powder for their primers. It gives us a unique anti-chip uh, formula. We'll test for sprayability. Powder doesn't circulate as well as liquid paints do, so we'll test for circulation. We'll test whether it works in the equipment. Does it build up in equipment? Does it spray nice? How thick can we spray it? How thin can we spray it? Is it easy? Is it harder to spray than in previous powders? We we'll basically benchmark it versus previous powders. In this booth, we work do similar things as the powder booth, but with liquid paints. Here we're working on some process work for JNAP. We have this vehicle in here. We foil it up so we can reuse the vehicle many times without building paint up in it. We're testing the application of the paint to the roof and the lift gate here to try to improve uh, what the process is at JDAP. What we have behind me here is a um, 2013 uh, Ram truck that, uh, with the new air suspension that we were doing durability testing on. Uh, this allows us to speed up the process of the durability testing to about six week test to do a full life cycle. That allows us to bring products to market much quicker and with better reliability. The simulation uh, basically replicates a, what we call a 95th percentile customer, so the, the, the high use customer. And it goes from everything from cobblestone roads to large potholes, big waves in the road, uh, cornering, handling, um, the whole gambit of the driving experience. Here at the Corrosion Teardown Lab, we take vehicles that have been simulated for corrosion activity. It's about it's an aggressive test. It's supposed to simulate 10 years. Uh, it's a preventative maintenance simulation so that we can see in the future what issues we may have with vehicles. Um, we tear them apart bolt by bolt and in the end we list any issues that we may find. Uh, we note perforations. We Serviceability is a key point with us. Uh, and after that we basically let the engineers know and they'll, they'll check their parts and we'll change the parts and then we'll get another vehicle and we'll do the same thing over and over again. This is the uh, design engineering group 
at the Automotive Research and Development Centre, one of the uh, oldest groups within Canada Engineering. Uh, we've been here for over 20 years and since we've moved into the ARDC in 1996 we've also started with a computer-aided engineering team as well. Uh, we're working on things like computational fluid dynamics, finite element analysis, and multi-body dynamics. Uh, more recently, we have two graduate students from the University of Windsor that are also working with us on computational fluid dynamics uh, projects for the corporation.